She planned all this, didn't she? Oh, never mind, Lucy. Let's get you home. I'm gonna kill her. She set me up. Don't you ever learn a single lesson. Do keep out of this. No, just calm down, Peter. Calm For down. Sake. Look, you're not going anywhere like this. She's not going to get away. Get that down, you. Can I have some ice? For Brandy? No, no, for me hand. I gave him a right whack. Oh, I was so proud of you when you walloped him. Oh, ma'am. I'm so sorry. Don't be daft. Not to be sorry about. I should have listened to you not falling out with you. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Forget it all. She knew how hard it was for me to do that to Shelley. I mean, why didn't she just go? Why didn't she just sneak off into the night? Why did she have to ruin our lives on top of it all, eh? Just for once, can't you think about somebody other than yourself? I'm thinking about Shelley, Deirdre, not just me. Oh, yes. And how easy it would have been for you to get back with her if Lucy hadn't shown you up for what you really are. She'd have still took my son, wouldn't she? Would that not have been no, enough? Peter, she didn't just want to win. She wanted you to lose. There's a difference. Yeah, well... She's not won yet, has she? I mean, she can't just take my son to Spain on a plane just like that. Can I take out an injunction? Stop her. I can, can't I? I mean, I'm his dad. I mean, I do have rights, don't I? Where's the phone book? Dad, where's the phone book? Most people, you can calm them down with a nice piece of vinegar and a couple of chops, not Battersby. Mm, plenty of experience of customer complaints, then, Mr Elliot. Never been out wrong with a single piece of meat I've ever sold. But some people, there was this woman come into the shop and she bought a pheasant. Then she brought it back and said it tasted gamey. I told the dozy wench, pheasant is game. If you want chicken, you should have bought a chicken. Oh, he's master of public relations, is me dad. Well... Though I did say you shouldn't use the meat from the Halloween stew and put it in pies, though. It were best Scottish beef for that. Too good for Battersby. Uh, that's what upset his system. Quality food. He's a bit of a troublemaker, though, isn't he? Well, you know what some people are like, Dad. No smoke without fire. He needs evidence, though, doesn't he? If he is shouting the odds like this. He's got a dicky tummy. That's all the evidence he needs. Yeah, but if he's going to sue you or take you to the public health and that, then he needs a bit of the pie that he says he's off, doesn't he? She's smarter than she looks, is that one, Ashley? I think that would a compliment. No answer. What sort of hours do these people keep? Uh, what do you want to do with these? Well, can't you just leave them where they are for now? Well, if somebody trips over them... Look, please don't worry about the bags, Deirdre. They'll be out of your way soon enough. Look, if I can't raise a solicitor, how am I supposed to take out an injunction? Don't you need a judge for that and a court? That's what a solicitor's for. And money. Got plenty, have you? You love this, don't you? I just try to be realistic. So that's it, is it? I just have to accept I'm never going to see my son again. You know, we really ought to get a chili cabinet for the champagne. Mm, because waiting for it to get to the right temperature really can ruin the mood, wouldn't you say? Why don't you just keep some in the fridge, Ed Herm? You take more bottles than we sell to the rest of our customers anyway. Mm, and a decent cognac. Always the best way to round off a meal, don't you think? Depends how drunk she has to be before she falls for your legendary charm. Mm. Then you will be locking up tonight, I hope, because I've no intention of uh, breaking up for my evening. I'll lock up most nights. Oh, it's just his oh-so-subtle way of letting us know he's no intention of staying in his own bed. Maya, after standing you up, well, that's what I call an apology. Oh, she must think you missed her right. Does she know your first names always? You know, one of the best things about Maya apart from her being very beautiful, is I can have an intelligent, grown-up conversation with her, not spend the evening sniping. Mike, this check from Preston King. Do you want to go around tomorrow morning, first thing before work, and catch his wife? No, leave it. And it's his widow. Don't need that check for a few days, anyway. That's not what you were saying before. All right, well, I've changed my mind. I've got to show a bit of respect. Preston may have gone, but his business is still going, isn't it? Talking of respect, excuse me. Kirk! Ah, oh, how are you? Wolf, as soon as you ask. Uh, and how's Leslie? He's usually in here with you at this time. He's sick, any thanks to your pies. He can't even make it down here for his tea. He were in here earlier. He set him off again, didn't it? The walk here takes him 30 seconds. He can't miss being outside for that long. No. Exactly. 
You know the difference between me and Lucy, Dad? I loved her. And I love Shelley. And I know that sounds stupid, but her, she... She's done all this out of some sort of spite and nastiness. Yeah, well, I'm sure she'd say you drove her to it. Yeah. But I really deserve to lose my own son forever. Tell me, do I? I'm not the person you should be asking. Well, she's not here, is she? No. But you know where she is. But do you think there's still time if I hurry? Yeah, but you'll only get in the way if you talk to her calmly. Oh, I'm going to talk to her calmly when I've got my hands around a flaming neck. I'm coming with you. I'm sorry about lunch. Oh, no, 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 you know, if, if I've been stood up for shopping, then um, I might have been hurt, but a uh, professional woman, it comes with a territory. This is so nice. Thanks. Do not knock shopping. Oh, how can I? Talk to a man who owns seven shops, remember? Oh, and not one of them sells clothes or shoes now, if you really want to impress. Ah, uh, starting without me? I had a meal to prepare. Well, the packaging to take off it anyway. <laughs> Just hoping the way to your heart isn't through your stomach. Yeah. How do you cook this? Hey, spaghetti. Just have a special long pan or something. I don't know. Janice used to do it. Oh, well, now I'll say. What do you want me to do? I've got belly ache, heartache. Can't go out the house. Nowhere to go, even if I could. And all you can think about is food. Well, that's because I'm hungry. I'm thinking about fizz and all. We shouldn't mention her. Now that Scylla's gone from my life. Hey, she, she's come back, can't live without me. I knew it, Kirky, baby. Come on, answer the flipping thing. Oh. Well, it's not Scylla. Oh. I'll say surprise, surprise, if you want. In fact, I do come bearing gifts. You haven't got any food in all, I suppose. I'm not the flaming Red Cross. Much better than now. Oh, yeah, that you're not too well, Leslie. You were right. And it's down to you. And when I'm fit, I'm going down the council to complain. Is there any need? Now, can't we settle this amicably? It's not you that's in pain. But I'm willing to listen to offers. Now, see. Now, these are just a gesture. There's no guilt here. In that case, I've got a gesture for you and all. Hey, don't forget about me. I'm feeling dog rough and all. You've, uh, you're going to be taking the piece of pie with you, I suppose. Hey? To public health. Hard evidence is what they need. You've got a sample in the fridge, I take it. Might have. No, and if he had, I'd have ate it. You gobby get. So it's your word against mine. And Kirk's. And when I'm able, me and him will be outside that shop of yours, telling all your customers how you made us ill, then try to bribe us with a few cans of ale. I reckon there's quite a few of this, don't you? That slander. <laughs> so sue me. I don't think you'll get much. Do you? Well, if that's your final word. It's not. My final word is off. Fine. Look, just remember, it's only Spain. Two hours on a plane. It takes longer to drive to Scotland. Yeah, it may as well be the other side of the world if I don't know whereabouts it is. So, you get an address, you get a phone number, anything, and then when the dust has settled, you're ready to see him. But you've got to convince her you're not going to cause any trouble. OK, all right. right. Uh, it's not a taxi, is it, sir? Uh, no, it's not. And it's not a bus. Oh, look, please, mate, I don't need this. You'll have to move it. Oh, listen, Jobs, if you had any idea uh, Peter, what Peter, kind of... Peter, give me the keys, I'll move the car, you go and find her. Good. There's no reasoning with that bashers. I said there's no reasoning with him. Have you tried buying him off? Michael, what do you think I am? The price were too high, especially when I've done no wrong. I thought the pie was smashing. There's no wrong with me. Kieran, a pint for Harry here. I remember Preston King saying just before he died how tasty his was and all. Kieran is paying for his own. Hey, uh, you bought this. 
Hello, how are you, Joshua? Hey, hey. Me and uh, our Josh are taking Claire home. Then we're stopping off for summer tea, don't we? Yeah, where are you taking him? Uh, Delphine's. That new burger place. They're advertising them because it looks nice. A burger? <laughs> Ashley, you should know better than that. It won't do many harm and he'll probably only eat a few chips. See, you're planting in his young mind that burgers are a treat. It was Paul Newman, weren't it? He said, what's the point in going out for a burger when you've got Philip's steak at home? Mind you, we were talking about his wife. Gentleman spot on, though. Best meat it well, the little fridge, and you have to take him out for one of them th things. Good job, we're not going for a pizza. <laughs> what's your language, lady? I say, what's your language? In the Gazette, were it? Big spread. Gave it a good review and all. Which would have nothing to do with the fact that they paid for a very large advert. Michael, don't dismiss the power of the written word. If it can get a butcher born and bred eating one of them things... Burgers? Yes, exactly. Maybe they'd do a write-up on decent food. Elliot's Dracula Pies. I mean, it don't take one or two people to taste them. And then Battersby's belly aching about his belly ache will be drowned in a sea of praise. It just feels so stupid. Been falling for his lies once, but twice. Oh, you're well rid of him. Am I? I feel like somebody's ripped a huge hole in my stomach. I mean, all the things he said and all the promises he made, he made me so happy, but all the time he was saying exactly the same things to her. She really stitched him up, though, in the end. That's another thing. After everything, he chose her. Hey, hey. She had his son. That was always going to be what swayed him. Yeah, but we were going to have children, lots of children. That's what we wanted. Kieran's staying on to look after the bar. How are you doing? Uh, I just think... I just keep thinking about all the things we planned. All the, all the dreams we shared. Oh, I really, really hate him for what he's done to you. Better now than five years down the line. Is he? I've never met anyone who makes me feel like Peter does. And I can't imagine I will ever again. Ever. So I, I would have settled for five years. You look stunning. Thank you, kind sir. I did tell myself as I applied a very indulgent body lotion that you'd uh, probably prefer that to me marinating meat. <laughs> How well you know me. You know, next time while you um, pamper yourself, I shall cook and I promise you nothing will come out of the packet. So there's going to be a next time? Oh, yeah, you should know by now that I never take no for an answer. You're very sure of yourself. Well, somehow I don't see you going for the indecisive time. You also make a lot of assumptions, Mr. Allahan. Well, I have to miss my you don't give much away. <laughs> oh, you're the grocer. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> a solicitor doesn't give anything away. You know, I'd hate to play poker with you. Even strip poker. <laughs> Especially strip poker. Yeah. You know, I'd be down to my pants while you still got your hat and coat on. <laughs> I like the sound of that. We must play sometime. Coffee. You want a cognac with that? Mm. You trying to get me drunk? Anything else? <sighs> Good. Because I have a feeling I need to keep my wits about me with you. Mm. You know, you'd like to be in control? Mm? Yes. Is there a problem with that? Well, that depends on how you want to exercise that control. If you're telling me there are limits, that puts you in control. <sighs> you know, I should know better than to argue with a lawyer. <sighs> I think I'm a bit drunk. <laughs> well, so am I, baby. I'm drunk on the evening, the champagne, your perfume. No, Dev, I'm serious. Something I did, I mean, it's something I said. Oh, no. 
You've been wonderful. Too wonderful. I've often been pretty wonderful. It's the first time I've been too wonderful. I really mean it. But I've been working before dawn and all the champagne has suddenly hit me. I do understand. Me and Karen can manage, love. Mum, if I don't go out now, I'll probably end up stuck in that room on that settee with a box of tissues and the rest of that brandy. Oh, well, nobody'd blame you, and if it helps. What, let them win? I don't think so. Right, showtime. <laughs> you okay? <clears throat> you don't have to, you know. So people keep telling me. Look, there's only one more rule from now on. Never mention your friend's name again, OK? My friend. Good. Yes, Steve? Back, please. Do you think she's all right? I wish she'd shout and scream, get it out of her system, but if this is how she copes, at least the pub were quiet this time. Oh, I think if she'd had another public humiliation, it might have been too much. Well, you take your blessings where you can, don't you? Mind you, I wish we'd all been here to see her belting. Oh, believe me, it was a sight I shall treasure forever. I hope his nose is in as much as my hand is. Steve, did you know Mike's changed the underwater count to the filled caps? What? Well, they've got sat nav, they pick you up faster and know the quicker stream. Yeah, and they charge you more. Well, time's money in the liquor business, mate. It's worth paying that bit extra for. Look, don't let Dev a any of this, OK? What? No, I'm just winding you up, mate. Oh, yeah. I heard Dev talking to Mike, saying how he's got to drag you in streetcars in the 21st century. Mm -hmm. well, I bet he didn't tell Mike how much it costs. Well, money's an object, apparently. It's a matter of principle. Dev's got to show you who's boss. Are you winding me up again? No, not this time, really. Oh, and I heard Karen at work planning for your wedding. It's a good thing Concord's gone out of service. Last flight to Malaga went an hour back. We should have come earlier. No, she was cutting it a bit fine. The agency checked in just before takeoff. Are you sure she was on it? Well, customer lists are confidential. So now what? Well, looks like that's it. Have a good flight. Thank you. We're on our way now, sweetheart. New money, new home, new life. And no nasty daddies, eh? I'm sorry. It's been such a day I was half tempted to cancel. But I thought you'd think I was playing games. No, no, I wouldn't. I, uh, yeah, the evening might have ended earlier than I hoped, but um, I had a great time. <laughs> Me too. And there will be a next time. Good. And um, thank you for being so understanding. <laughs> Listen, I'm prepared to take this at whatever speed you want. You're a sweet man. Yep. So I keep telling people. Hey. What the hell are you doing here? How could you do this to me? Don't cause a scene, Peter. I've said all I want to say. After that stunt you pulled in the Rovers, I gave up everything for you. I gave up everything for you and Simon. You will have got a flight to catch. Please wait, just a, just a phone number, anything, please, just so I can see him again one day, please. Yeah. I'm sorry. Then I'm not letting you take him. Oh, no, no, you can't do this, Peter. I'm his dad. Just give him to me. You've already caused enough trouble. No. You don't put him back in this buggy now, Peter. I mean it. There's police and security all over this airport. Well, so what? Well, let them come. They'll not let you on the plane anyway. Not when they know I'm his dad. I've got rights. You can't stop me. Oh, yeah, and what use are they going to be to you when you're in prison? You're already under a caution. You take him away and I'll make sure they throw away the key. And I'm going to take him back anyway, so... Give him to her, Peter. What? How could you? How could you say that? Because I know she won't hesitate to do everything she could to hurt you. 
Don't give her the satisfaction. He deserves everything he gets. No. 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 Come on, come on, Peter. Come on. Why? Come on, Peter. Sydney, Australia. Yeah, I've got a family there. Real family, not a bigamist husband. You can't. I won't let you do this. Oh, I can, I will. I'm not going to let you make a mess of my child's life like you do to everyone else around you, Peter. Please, Lucy. Please wait. I understand what you're feeling, OK? For Simon's sake. This is for Simon's sake. The other side of the world's hardly far enough, but it's the best I can do. You know what grieves me, Peter? I honestly did love you. We could have had the best life together. If only just for once you'd been a real man instead of a sorry apology for one. 